Hi students, I am Pavan, your science master. Today, I would like to speak to 7th standard students. Students, in this video, I am going to talk about the next concept of the subject that's motion and time. Students, before this chapter, we have completed three lessons successfully. Did you remember the names of the chapter, students? Yes, first chapter is food components, second chapter is acids and bases, and third chapter is animal fiber. In the fourth chapter, we are going to talk about motion and time. Students, before getting into the detailed explanation of the chapter, let us start understanding the name of the lesson first of all. Let us understand the meanings of these two words. What is motion? Motion is a process of movement of a body from one place to another. Students, have you got the point? Motion means it is a process of movement of any body from one place to another. Okay. And what about time? The motion of any body with respect to time. We measure the moment of a body with respect to time. When we when we correlate when we correlate the process of moment with the time, then that is said to be speed of the body. Okay? What is speed and the problems related to speed and all we will see in the coming classes. Students, I would like to go through the text and I would like to give explanation of the text to students. Okay? Yeah. First paragraph. You can see that motion is a common experience in our life. We observe birds flying in air, buses, autos, cars, bullockarts, moving on roads, trains on railway tracks, and many other objects around us in motion. Apart from observing motion of objects around us, we ourselves experience motion while we are walking, running, playing, riding a bicycle, etc. Similarly, we observe many objects like trees, buildings, display boards, electric poles, etc. at rest while we walk to school. Students, did you understand this matter? Yeah, motion is a common experience in our life. We observe birds flying in air, buses, autos, cars, bullockarts moving on roads. These are all the common things that we see around us, which are in moment, which possess moment. Okay. And some other things that while we walk, we see some other things are not in motion. They do not move like buildings, display boards electric poles do they move no yes so here you need to understand two important words of the chapter one is a moving object and one is not moving object a moving object is said to be in motion but a not moving object is said to be what? That's said to be at rest. So, these two words are important to understand this chapter. What are those two words? Motion and rest. Okay? Let's move forward. Other than running, playing and walking, when do you experience motion? Prepare a list. When we sit 
inside a moving bus or train we observe that the objects like trees buildings electric poles etc appear to be moving are these trees buildings electric poles etc really in motion or at rest to understand this we should understand the meaning of motion and rest yeah students let me give the explanation of these points students you you have to keep on observing the things which are in motion and which are at rest okay uh, here one common experience that we uh, experience in our day to day life i would like to share when i was very young uh, my father wanted to go a town i too went the town along with my father meanwhile uh, when we went and sat in the car the driver started driving the car and we are moving on the road so the car is said to be in motion and we are also said to be in motion along with the car yes or no but here one important thing that you need to understand when the car is moving with respect to the things inside the car you are at rest and the things inside the car with respect to you are also at rest did you get the point see students if the driver is driving the car sitting in his seat if you sit beside the driver's seat in the car if the car is in motion you see the driver is simply sitting in the car and you also see you are simply sitting in the car and other things inside the car also simply at rest but when it is in motion if you observe the things outside the car they appear to be moving okay they appear to be moving i was surprised by looking at the objects outside the car when i was traveling in the car how i surprised you know i was at rest in the car but the things outside the car are moving backward are the things outside the car are really moving backward no right no but actually what is in motion the car is in motion the car with respect to the surroundings the car is in motion but you are in the car with respect to the car's its own surroundings you are at rest in the car of course you are also moving along with the car but you are at rest with respect to the inside surroundings of the car if you take hold the car with respect to the surroundings of the car outside surroundings of the car the car is in motion did you get the point students like this we need to understand what is in motion and what is at rest okay let's move on <coughs> motion and rest if you observe the picture on left side screen there are two figures figure 1 and figure 2 if you observe figure 1 what do you notice in the figure 1 there is a car and a tree the car is on the road and mountains and surroundings around the car also you can see there in the figure 1 and could you notice the position of the car with respect to the tree yes you can notice 
द पोजिशन ऑफ द कार विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द ट्री इज राइट साइड अंडरस्टूड नो विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द ट्री इफ यू अब्जर्व इफ यू नोटिस द कार्स पोजिशन द कार इज राइट साइड इन द फिगर वन लेट्स मूव टू फिगर टू इफ यू अब्जर्व द पोजिशन ऑफ द कार विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू ट्री इन फिगर टू वेर इज द कार्स पोजिशन नाउ द कार्स पोजिशन इज लेफ्ट साइड इन द फिगर टू राइट सो इफ यू अब्जर्व बोथ द पिक्चर्स नाउ what is in motion and what is at rest that's right car is in motion and the tree and the surroundings are at rest okay students like this we can understand what is motion and what is rest so motion and rest they are co related words in the chapter let me read the text what difference do you notice in the position of the car what difference do you notice in the position of the tree why has this difference occurred is it because the tree moved to right of the car or the car moved to the left of the tree yes because it's because it's because what the car moved to the left of the tree next we know that the position of the car has changed with respect to the tree in 2 seconds but there is no change in the position of the tree with respect to its surroundings yes there is no change in the position of the tree and its surroundings an object is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to its surroundings in a given time you understood this point students an object is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to its surroundings in a given time yes students in the figures that which are with tree and the car i have explained you about the position of the car is changed with respect to the surroundings in a given time the time is in 2 seconds the position of the car is changed in 2 seconds you can understand like that so when an object is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to its surroundings in a given time remember the statement students an object is said to be at rest if there is no change in its position with respect to its surroundings in a given time yeah this is regarding rest students an object is said to be at rest if there is no change in its position with respect to its surroundings in a given time yes next thus we can say that the tree is at rest and the car is in motion while we observe them over a period of time see what is the time in 2 seconds in this case in this case in 2 seconds the car changed its position means the car is in motion the surroundings are at rest as they are not changing their position okay students like this you have to understand and activity 1 we'll do in the next video students uh, so far i explained about what is rest what is motion these two terms are important in this chapter students you try to remember them uh i will give you the definition of these two words in the description box students you just please uh 
see the description and you find the definition of these two words in the description box and if you have any doubts please comment me in comment section i always respond to your comments students thank you thank you for listening thank you one and all